Okay, so we've had several comments requesting a tutorial for creating a personal assistant with Chatbase. This is something that may be useful if you're a business owner, content creator, or a knowledge worker. Alternatively, this is a chatbot you can sell to business owners or creators to help streamline their work. In this video, I'll show you step-by-step step how to use Chatbase to build a personal assistant by combining data from a bunch of different sources with a powerful instruction prompt. Then you can chat with the AI using a link or connect it to Slack or WhatsApp for quick access. Create your own free account to follow along with this tutorial at chatbase.co. All right, let's get into it. So to begin, you're going to need some data. We're building a personal assistant, so I'm going to build a personal assistant for myself for this example. I'm going to use my Notion notes, my business's website, and some YouTube lecture transcripts to train this chatbot. So first click new chatbot to get started. I'm going to add the transcript files, crawl my website by pasting in this link, and then connect my Notion account. Three different sources of data for this one chatbot. Now that everything has been added, let's click create chatbot. Training should only take a minute or so, maybe longer if you have a lot more data. Next, we're going to set the model to GPT-40 inside the playground here and the temperature to 0.5 because we want this chatbot to be fairly creative. Now I've written a custom prompt for this that I will include in the description of this video for you to copy. But as you can see, there are three primary sections, role, persona, and constraints. These sections are really important and I highly recommend you follow this same format for your own chatbots. This is actually the most important part of the setup process. If you're building your own personal assistant, your requirements for this prompt will be entirely unique to you, but hopefully this prompt can inspire yours. Now to customize the appearance of your chatbot, go over to settings. In general, we need to give our chatbot a name. We'll go with Joseph's assistant because that's my name, then head to chat interface. We'll say, hey Joseph, how can I help? Add a few suggested messages. I'll add some random ones. Then next, let's add a display name and then add a profile picture. Finally, set a message color. Check this box so it looks better and then click save. Now we have a really good looking chatbot. Now I went ahead and set up the Slack integration for this video. If you want to watch a tutorial breaking down the entire Slack setup process step by step, we made a video that I will link in the description of this video. Now let's go into Slack and test it. Interacting with the personal assistant is very easy. All you have to do is type at chatbase with your question. So let's say, based on my notes, how can I grow my business faster? And then it will return a response from our custom chatbot. This is even something you can share with your team that they can use to leverage your knowledge without having to ask you questions directly. All right, thanks for watching guys. Go to chatbase.co to sign up for free if you haven't already. Drop a like on this video if this helped you out and please leave a comment and let us know what you want to see next. Thank you guys again for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one.